in this question they actually gave you the graph of pressure versus uh, the depth right below the surface so in case you're wondering why is it a straight line through the origin all right is because of the formula of the pressure due to the liquid is p equals to h rho g so if you were to plot p versus h so you in you will notice that if you compare with y equals to mx plus c the pressure is a y axis the h is your x axis so the gradient here will be equals to rho g and the y intercept is zero that's why it's passing through the origin now you can actually use the gradient of the graph which is actually two points here but zero zero would be an advisable point to choose that makes your calculation simpler so then you will just take this point so i want to teach you one point here now if the graph is a straight line to the origin you can either take the gradient between two points here or here here and here anywhere or you can take a the value of a single point or this single point or this single point it doesn't matter whether you find gradient or you use a single point value to find your answer you get the same so why you get the same because if, if you take a single point and you take the gradient between that single point and zero zero is basically the same so let's say i'm taking the gradient between here and here it'll be 3000 minus zero over 0 0.5 minus zero which is basically just taking a single value 3000 over 0 0.4 and substitute your g and that's how you get your density right for this question they gave you two vessels with the um, two shapes here uh, and inclined at 45 degrees now one tapers outwards which is here tapers outwards the other one tapers inwards which is uh, this way so both vessels contain a liquid but the depth is the same so that means they're saying that this depth and this depth will be the same now the density is not the same though so what's the pressure now never ever care about the shape we are only interested in the vertical height when we are finding the pressure so you only want to find the vertical height regardless of the shape even if it was sloped like this you would also use the same vertical height as well so anyway coming back to this question if i wanted to use the vertical height to calculate the pressure i would use this formula now since p equals to h rho g and i would actually use the ratio of pressure of p over pressure of q now what is the same for both h and g because they told me they have the same depth and g acceleration or acceleration of gravity will always be the same so then you'll be just the density of p over the density of q now they did tell me though the liquid of vessel p is twice as dense as the liquid in vessel q so this is two to one so the answer will be a in this question they gave you a ball hole okay let's say this is a hole that 2000 meters contains both water and oil pressure at the uh, due to the liquids at the bottom right is 17.5 now you notice is it pressure due to the liquids because that's a total pressure here 17.5 megapascal they give you the densities of both liquids what is the depth x so if the depth, if the pressure here is known which is 17.5 megapascal it must be due to the column of water plus the pressure due to the column of oil so pressure due to column of oil will be x rho g so x times density of oil times g pressure due to the water will be this height though which is 2000 minus x times the density of water times g so by solving this equation you will get x as 1270 now in this question they want you to prove that the liquid pressure is p equals to rho g h whenever you see show that so you have to show every single uh, important working so what is your important working here so you must say the pressure at the base of the column of liquid or you can say the pressure acting on area a is due to the weight of the liquid above it so i want you to write this down now in sentence here before you begin you say the pressure on area a is due to the weight of the liquid above it all right or, the, or due to the weight of the column of liquid above it right then you can start off by using the formula p equals to f over a and your f will be the weight of the liquid 
and since the weight is density times volume times g because m is actually density times volume all right then uh, you can break down the volume to area times height and uh, the area here at the bottom will cancel so that's how you get the formula rho g h next part they say the variation with height h of the total pressure of the at the on the base of the cylinder is shown so this is the graph of total pressure you notice they use the word total pressure acting on the base of the cylinder so you must understand when they say total pressure you will notice something that the area a here has this column of liquid here as well as atmospheric pressure above it so it makes sense that the pressure here you must get um, the total pressure here by taking h rho g plus atmospheric pressure so to answer the question why it does not pass through origin this this line doesn't pass through origin we just have to mention that there is atmospheric there is atmospheric pressure as well that's all right there is atmospheric pressure now use data to calculate the density of the liquid so once again you would have to do the um, the gradient of this graph so maybe we can write down the equation so the equation would be your total pressure will be your h rho g plus atmospheric all right atmospheric so since i'm plotting total pressure versus h and if you compare with the straight line equation y equals to mx plus c your p is your y axis the h will be your x axis so your gradient will be equals to rho g and the y-intercept will be atmospheric pressure that means this value will be your atmospheric pressure which you know it is 1 times 10 to the power of 5 so that confirms our uh, our reasoning right so anyway to find the density so find the gradient now so this time you have no choice but to take two points so you might want to take um, of course this initial point because the h is zero and that you want to find another point which actually passes through a, a nice uh, reading uh, that you can read so this will be one point uh, six five meters all right so this coordinate will be one point uh, six five and the pressure would be three point uh, two but don't forget there's a times 10 to the power of five all right so now let's substitute the values to find the density so the gradient equals to rho g so the gradient here would be 3.2 times 10 to the power of 5 minus 1 times 10 to the power of 5 over 1.65 minus 0 that equals to rho times 9.81 and solving for this would give you a value of density would give you 13592 so but if you want to write the answer in 2SF it will be 14000 or if you want to leave it in 3SF it will be 13600 all right kilogram per meter cube that's all for today's video if you are interested in more genuine sharing by other geniuses, please subscribe to our channel and don't forget to turn on the notification bell, ding dong. Also, if you're struggling with one or two past your questions and the mark scheme just doesn't seem to help, Genius got you covered. Feel free to let us know what question it is by filling in the Google form linked in the description below. Genius Hub will get Genius teachers to fulfill your request for the solution. Genie, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.